Hi Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And yes, I'm like in front of the camera. Is that crazy? If you're new to this channel, this is new to me. I don't go in front of the camera to do my readings. It's all my hands and the cards that you guys see. But um, I wanted to do it live. Not live, you know we're not live. But anyway, I wanted to do it in front of the camera. I did it for Taurus and the response was amazing and everybody seemed to really, really like it. So I wanted to do it. Um, I'm going to try to do it for all 12 signs, but I can't guarantee it. Super, super uncomfortable in front of this camera and doing this reading, not like this is um, difficult for me so if you're new to this channel this is new to me so bear with me okay because it's gonna might be a little bit choppy um, what else um, oh yeah this is a general reading for the sign of Aries okay this is not your personal reading please do not make any kind of life altering decisions off of a general tarot card reading mine or anybody else's it's just simply general it, it's like it's just general it's general it's like stereotyping right it is it's like stereotyping if you have a crowd of people and there is a stereotype um could it fit some of those people yeah but when you get to know those people on an individual basis the stereotype goes out the window it's the same kind of thing this is a stereotype of what's going on in the energy for the zodiac sign of aries for the month of august however it does not fit everybody so do not make life-altering decisions off of a general tarot card reading okay <coughs> If you would like a personal reading with me, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com. Okay. All right. So, Aries, let's get into this. This is a good one. This is a good one. So, you know, we've been talking about the reconciliation and um, reunion forever, right? Forever. And um, this is a little bit of a twist on that, and it's pretty interesting. So, Aries, you open this reading with the Wheel of Fortune, right? There is a turning point in your life, a turning point not only in your life, but a turning point with a King of Pentacles character. Could this be a turning point in regards to your security, your control, your power, your discipline, and abundance? It could, but um, the rest of these cards don't say that, okay? So there is going to be a turning point in a relationship with a King of Pentacles character. Could be male, could be female, doesn't matter. This is an earth energy. This is the card of Taurus, actually. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. If you're not dealing with a Taurus, do not box yourself into earth energy or the zodiac sign of Taurus. You could be dealing with somebody that just represents or embodies a very powerful, strong, success-oriented, home-oriented, this is hubby material or wifey material type of person. Okay, so you are about to have a new life cycle begin, a turning point in the relationship with a King of Pentacles type of entity. And I want to stress entity, okay? It does not have to be a person. It's, an, it's a King of Pentacles type of entity. Person, place, thing, if you have relationships with things, right? You never know. Okay, um, this King of Pentacles is clarified by these, okay? This King of Pen Pentacles is clarified by a transformation with the Death card into a solid, stable, structured foundation with the Ten of Pentacles, bringing victory, progress, and success with the Six of Wands, manifesting what are you manifesting here Aries well you're manifesting your way out of the seven of swords you're manifesting your way out of betrayal deceit lying cheating stealing um, shady behavior mind games you are manifesting you are breaking free from the mental challenges that have separated you and this king of pentacles in the first place and then judgment comes in and says that you have made a decision to bring a rebirth to this relationship. Seven of Wands comes in and says you're challenged though. 
you're challenged because of the hermit in reverse to the princess of pentacles in reverse. You are challenged because you're disconnected right now with the with the hermit in reverse completely and totally disconnected and the princess of pentacles in reverse says that there's absolutely zero progress in this situation y'all probably aren't even talking to this king of pentacles um i just want to point out that it could be that the challenge to reconnecting and building something of substance with this king of pentacles could be that you are involved with a Virgo and you are disconnecting yourself from a Virgo or someone else. Doesn't have to be a Virgo, but the Hermit is the card of Virgo. So you could be disconnecting yourself from a Virgo where there is no progress or you don't want to make any more progress in the relationship. Just saying. But your challenge is the fact that you are disconnected from this King of Pentacles, probably not even speaking, and there is a lack of progress in the situation unless this means you're disconnecting from a Virgo because there's no progress in order to pursue something with the King of Pentacles. Take it as it fits. Okay. Princess of Swords comes in and says that you are formulating a decision-making process. You're formulating a decision-making process to the Five of Swords to come out of feelings of betrayal, conflict, tension, loss, defeat, mind games, the whole seven of swords energy, right? It's very familiar to the, very similar to the five of swords energy. So you're formulating a decision-making process to, to break free of the mental challenges associated with the conflict in the past between you and this King of Pentacles character. And you want to bring forth a message to create a new beginning. Princess of Wands in reverse comes in and says that there is delays and frustrations. Um, delays, frustrations, um, and a bit of, of lack of lack of direction and some, some pessimism involved. Because you have been so caught up in the Seven of Swords with this King of Pentacles person. There has been betrayal, deception, deceit, lying, cheating, stealing, mind games, all kinds of just fucked up bullshit. Oh yeah, did I mention this is an R-rated channel? All kinds of fucked up bullshit that's gone on between you, right? But you're trying to break free of the mental challenges surrounding your past relationship with this King of Pentacles, right? This card is in the center of your reading, which means this entire reading revolves around you breaking free of mental challenges from past interactions with this King of Pentacles. And the sun comes in and says, you see things clearly and you really believe that coming, that breaking free of the mental challenges that are surrounding your relationship with the King of Pentacles is going to bring you success, vitality, and happiness in your life. Now you have escalated from the Hermit into the Princess of Swords, formulating a thought pattern, right? Into the Princess of Thords, Swords, formulating a, a decision-making process to the Hangman. This Hangman is the definitive step between formulating things in your head and actually executing a decision right so what you're doing here because you can't stay in hangman very long i mean this guy's upside down blood's going to rush to his head his head's going to pop off he's going to pass out and die right so you can't stay in this very long so this is you at this point in the reading now remember all of these cards are emotional mental or physical processes and however long it takes you as an individual to process what's going on here that's that's how long it's going to take you to come to the point of the hangman this hangman is you getting ready to execute the decision making process of the princess of swords okay so you're pausing you're processing you're surrendering you're coming out on the other side with a new perspective this hangman energy, what you're processing and thinking about, well, hold up, your new perspective that you come out with is the Ten of Pentacles, that, that this relationship with the King of Pentacles is definitely worth building. 
what you're processing in this hangman energy is the three of pentacles teamwork and collaboration but i want to point out that there's three people here three people and one of them does not need to be there see there's the woman with the plans and then there's the guy that's going to build it and then there's a third energy there he doesn't belong there it's almost like the guy that won't let his wife go grocery shopping alone right it's almost that kind of energy so I want to point out that there is a third energy involved in this whole thing okay but you want teamwork and collaboration and I just want to point out that there is a third energy that should not be there that's there in the hangman you are contemplating the 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 uh, happenings that left one or both of you out in the cold to the three of cups right now this could be a third party situation but the three of cups is also um, about stifled creativity so there is stifled creativity the creation of anything between you is stifled because you're completely and totally disconnected with that hermit card completely and totally disconnected probably not even talking so how can you create anything if you're not even connected right so there is stifled creativity and this stifled creativity could be because of a third party situation one side or the other or both right but you're not creating anything with this person because there is a third energy that doesn't belong here. And this third energy is probably by why one or both of y'all got left out in the cold with five pentacles. That's what you're thinking about in the hangman energy. You're thinking about teamwork and collaboration, why and how everybody got left out in the cold, and the stifled creativity that's going on, probably because of a third party situation. Two of Wands comes in and says you've been doing some thinking, some decisions, some discovery, and you're ready to begin to plan for your future. Followed by the Ace of Wands. You want to take inspired action to create a powerful new beginning with this King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Re reuniting and reconciling your differences is what's on your mind for the month of August, Aries. Reuniting and reconciling your differences with this king of pentacles is what's on your what what if it's not on your mind right now it's going to manifest in the month of august the king of swords comes in and says that you are about to execute this whole decision making process that you've done here right you're about to execute it and what's interesting is the page of swords clarifies the king of swords what this says is that the page of swords is all talk no action and undelivered promises what this king of swords says is that you are about to address the all talk no action and the undelivered promises you're about to address it you're about to speak your truth and you're about to address it because <clears throat> because the ten of wands this whole situation has been a struggle and a burden with you with the two of cups in reverse the whole thing has been a struggle and a burden this breakup this separation this misalignment of values it burdens you you don't like not being in contact with this king of pentacles character and it's a burden and a struggle this breakup that happened between you or this misalignment of values that caused one or both of you to be left out in the cold to the ace of wands in reverse the ace of wands in reverse is about delays delays lack of motivation right delays and lack of motivation because of some some self-protective energies that are going on and i think both y'all are being self-protective i think this king of pentacles is being self-protective and you're being self-protective there's no action being taken y'all are both on lockdown 
right? And it's a burden. It's a struggle for you, Aries. You don't like it. Look, it's a challenge with the Seven of Wands. It's a challenge for you because, Aries, what you want is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with the star card. Never fear. The star is here. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal and the manifestation of a brand new opportunity with this king of pentacles that's what you want aries hope faith purpose and renewal and the manifestation of a brand new opportunity with the king of pentacles that is what is on your mind for the month of august whether you're disconnecting from somebody else in order to pursue something with this king of pentacles or if your relationship with the king of pentacles is just simply disconnected or perhaps both perhaps you're disconnecting from someone else so you can reconnect with the king of pentacles either way it's it's it, it all washes out the same so aries for the month of august what's on your mind is getting through to this king of pentacles character to have some kind of transformation some kind of rebirth of the relationship where you speak your truth about how there was all talk and no action in the past but now you 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 want to move forward with hope faith purpose renewal and um the manifestation of a brand new opportunity with the ace of pentacles spirit hold up my cards are all messed up hold up hold on spirit hold on everybody all right let's do this okay spirit spirit what is your advice what is your advice how should aries approach this king of pentacles how should aries approach look oh my god look <laughs> the emperor to the queen of pentacles aries you definitely definitely got this queen of pentacles on your mind king of pentacles queen of pentacles it's the same freaking thing same thing <laughs> so the emperor the card of aries really wants to reconnect and reconcile with their queen of pentacles by whom they are disconnected with at the moment spirit what is your advice how should aries approach this queen of pentacles this king of pentacles how should aries approach this queen of pentacles king of pentacles energy right here spirit how should aries approach this queen of pentacles king of pentacles energy right here Well, we got the two of wands and the four of wands, right? So decisions, discovery, planning for the future. Um, the four of wands is all about happiness, harmony um, in a solid, stable foundation. Okay. So it looks like when you reach out to this, this king of pentacles, queen of pentacles energy, that they are going to be receptive to you, Aries. But I didn't get an answer to my question, so hold on just a second. Spirit, how? what should Aries do? How should Aries approach this king of pentacles? How should Aries approach this king of pentacles? How should Aries? Okay, here we go. You should approach this king of pentacles when you are ready to talk with a sense of justice justice where there was an injustice there's justice where there was unfairness there's no fairness right this is cause and effect that where there was um um dishonesty now there's honesty you should definitely approach this king of pentacles queen of pentacles character with a sense of justice a sense of wanting to make the wrongs right okay all right aries that is your advice that is your reading for the month of august i do hope that you enjoyed it and um yeah if you want a personal reading from me you can click the link in the box below and um, I do hope that you have an amazing August and namaste, my friends.